Well people, it's Saturday afternoon. Last night I started rendering the vlog, and then I laid down and fell asleep, and then uh, now I'm awake, right? So, needless to say, the vlog's uploading as we speak, right now. So I'm just making me a coffee because I desperately need one. Probably going to grab a shower too because I desperately need one. I literally just got up and decided, hey, let's start vlogging right now. But uh, yeah, so let's get on with this day, people, and welcome to my vlog. So actually what woke me up today was, uh, surprisingly enough, when um, when Cat Piss called me, uh, my phone was sitting on my desk, actually it was on my mouse pad, which, you know, you think you wouldn't hear it on the mouse pad, but you do, it was vibrating, and uh, it was Cat Piss calling. I know he was going down sometime this, uh, one of these weekends, wasn't sure if it was this weekend or last weekend or what, but he was going down to visit his, uh, his fam down in, in Toronto area, his family down there, and um... He was calling to let me know about uh, the MacBook Air and that uh, it's getting fixed and I'll have it back whenever, you know, soon, later, whenever. I told him no rush, like I have no use for it right now. Whenever I get it, I get it and then uh, rock and roll, right? So uh, that should be back. He said he might have it back this when he comes back up, uh, like back up from down there or he might have to, uh, it might be a little longer depending on if they can get parts in. Problem is it's back to school right now and a lot of stores are like completely ransacked for parts getting shit repaired and shit replaced and all that and you know the rule if you own a macbook air it's customary to pour liquids onto it literally i looked it up and uh, a lot of people have spilt orange juice water beer liquor coffee all into the keyboard of the macbook air for some reason so apparently that's what you do when you own a macbook air i didn't know this so basically it's getting a new keyboard and uh then it'll be good to go but the problem with these macbook airs is it's not like a regular laptop, right? So the keyboard is actually part of the case. It's not a part of the keyboard. <laughs> it's not like on uh, my Dell where I press two clips up on the top by the uh, by the top of the keyboard and she'll eject the keyboard and then I can just replace it. No, no, no. This is basically you have to replace the whole bottom half of the chassis. That's why it's a little more expensive than replacing the keyboard. Not a big deal. The way I see it, it's going to cost me about maybe 400 bucks tops. That's including purchasing the machine and all the repairs. And I'll have myself um, a new to me 2010 MacBook Air, you know. And what do I plan on doing with it? I don't know. I have no idea, you know. I'm just going to use it for what it is, I guess. It's got the NVIDIA 320 card. Not too bad, not too bad. It's got a dual core 1.86 gigahertz processor. Not too bad, not too bad, you know. And I'm just going to freaking use it for what it is. And uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be all right. It'll be all right. All righty, well, uh, Rex 4x4 texted me there and he wants me to uh, totally go to the Hortons with him and Adrian. So I'm going to rock a piss, let the dog out, and then I'm going to frig off to the Hortons and meet up with those boys and uh, go from there. So, pee pee time. Yeah, Rex has been having some problems with his motorbike. Apparently the battery's not holding the charge or something, and I'm not sure if it's a stator or not. So I'm bringing this. It's a voltmeter. I'm going to crack it open one-handed style here. Hey, look, you can, you can tell. It's, a, it's totally a voltmeter, just a little hobby meter. Nothing fancy. It's only got the ability to check your voltage, your continuity, uh, diode tester, and your ohms. Really simple, really cheap. I think I paid 10 bucks for this back when Radio Shack was a thing. Uh, you guys probably have Radio Shack in the States, but up here it's called The Source now. But this is totally Radio Shack branded. Bought this thing back in the day because I needed to do uh, test continuity. She's way down there taking a shit. And uh, I hadn't, my other voltmeter, I didn't know how to test continuity with it. Apparently you can do it with an ohm load. I didn't know. Um, but you can do it with ohms. You don't need a continuity. Oh, what the fuck is he doing? It was like in the neighbor's yard, totally squatting off the loaf. A little friggin' bugger. You stay in your yard. No, you're not cute right now. You made me mad. We're not friends. We're not friends. Go away. Go away. We're not friends. Go to your bed. Go to your bed. Get going. Now, if I could just teach him that and say go for a shit and he'd sit on the toilet and launch off a loaf, that'd be friggin' awesome. Well, now I see why Oreo was trying to get over there. Cupcakes out. He wanted to go say hi to Cupcakes. Don't jump, bud. Don't jump. You're going to guillotine yourself. He's totally tied up. You can see the rope right there, eh? and it goes right to his collar. If that little puppy jumps, man, he's going to freaking hang himself. And he's going he to be a sad puppy. Don't do it. 
Don't do it. Oh my God, he's totally, yeah, I think he can hear me, but he was totally thinking about jumping down. He really wants to go say hi to Oreo. Also, as you notice, the neighbor's garden hose in my lawn. If I were to mow my lawn today, bye-bye garden hose again. That's their third hose because of me, just so you know. Hopefully I don't come back to a guillotine uh, cupcake in the backyard, but uh, I gotta go go to the Hortons, meet up with the Rex 4x4 and add the J oh, 042. So, uh, what time is it? Yeah, I'm freaking late. We gotta go, we got things. I saw them in Alrighty, the guys, oh. down here at the Hortons. I gotta go We got there. drunk drawer <laughs> videos here. Rex 4x4 over here-ish somewhere. Oh, look who showed up, Iron Man. Iron Man's here. Finally. The guy who brought me the stator, or his chest piece, so that, you know. Look it, look it, look it, look it. Oh, look it. He, he brought his motorbike. Brought his motorbike. <laughs> uh, I think he's gonna, gonna go riding with Rex. I, I'm thinking so. Where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I don't want to go off road right now, man. With that no. battery being shot. Pussy. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. yeah I forgot. Pussy. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Something about pushing just doesn't do it for me now. Some really? But but I could have pushed that beast around back to my house. Yes. That's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I see how it is, people. I see how it is. It's easier to oh. push him on the street than in the bush. Yeah, well, I you know. I had to do that last weekend. It was not fun. Oh, tell me that's on video. How far were you back? I cut it out. I, uh, yeah, I cut that part out. Oh, I should have left that well, in. That'd be hilarious. It. I mentioned oh. it. Yeah, I heard you mentioned it. Stay within the next couple months. How far back in the bush were you? Way far back. I mean, too far back. That's where you leave the bike and you go it. back and get your truck. Yeah. Oh, or no. Or your quad. The truck wouldn't make it in there. Oh, quad. Your quad back. Yeah. Bring somebody with you. Take out when you have a red bike. Huh? Huh? Oh, apparently I've been volunteered, people. I've been volunteered. <laughs> Freak sakes. All right, people. Well, we're gonna head her home. Sweet Jesus, that thing's loud. Just a lot. But um, Iron Man brought presents. He brought presents. Speaking of Iron Man, there he is, right there. He's he's. What's he doing? What we're, we're doing? <laughs> but he he brought presents for Jules. Yeah, that that that's liquor. There's 12 bottles there. 12 bottles, uh, friggin' dirty 24 ounces or 24 bottles of uh, I don't know. Oh, well, there. friggin' friggin' peach stuff and uh, some some wild apple stuff. So he brought some coolers for Jules because he knows that I like the beer. So he was like, "Well, bring some liquor for 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 Jules." And I was like, "Well, okay, sweet." So liquor for Jules. Get her hammered. Yeah. He did that. Freaking Iron Man. Right on. Let's go home and see if the dog shit in the house. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, peeps. I'm home. Look, you can tell. Just making myself a little something to eat because I haven't eaten anything all day today. I'm all hungry. Ah, uh, hungry. So, I just figured out that my Instagram can do videos and at the Hortons I made a stupid video because, well, you can do that. So, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome for sure. Well, I got two things to holy shit about. First one is, I fell asleep. I just woke up. Second one is, I have six clips for another WTF thing. Yup, six more clips for another WTF thing. Usually I wait till I have about 30 and then I make the compilation and that's what I'm gonna do. So if I get 30 clips, there'll be a WTF compilation number two, and number three, number four, number 17, number 29, skip the douche. Also guys, I found out Vlog 1000, October 19th is when I'll be filming it, which is on a Saturday, which means it'll air October 20th. Yeah, it'll happen. Wondering why I'm so chipper? It's because I had some cocaine. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm just really friggin' you know. I had a lot of sugar actually. I was eating uh, these awesome things. I was eating these awesome things, Jelly Jolts. They're two bucks at the buck store, and holy shit, are they ever awesome? They're like like jelly beans, but they coat them in crack. Look at that. They're coated in crack. Like, get a good look at the crack. Can you see the crack? Totally coated in crack. They may be coated in cocaine too, I don't know. But holy shit, you grab a handful of those, drive them in your face. Just drive them in your face, right guys? And then, uh, freaking mow down on those and you're just like right rolling, ready to rip and have a good old freaking time. But I'm later than Frig. I was supposed to be over at uh, Junk Drawer uh, Video's house uh, 57 minutes ago because uh, they're all hanging out over there and friggin' just chatting and stuff and just doing things and stuff and stuff and junk and other things and stuff. And I'm totally over here at my house and not over there, so I'm later than Frig. I gotta go. I got things. So let's go over to Junk, Ro uh, junk Drawer Video's house. Link will be in the description if you want to check out his shit and uh, maybe give it a subscriber Rooney because that's always fun. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, check out his stuff. But uh, I'm just having a cigarette. 
And we're gonna rip it over there. So let's pit a batter and have at her, people. Alrighty, people, I'm all cracked out and I'm ready to rock. So, um, I <laughs> cracked out, ready to rock. That's a great pun, Adam. Thank you, Adam. You're welcome, Adam. But we gotta head over to Junk Drawer Video's house there and party it up. So let's pit a batter and have at her and things. Freaking R2D2. If anybody's wondering why I keep hearing R2D2, that's the notification sign on my phone when I receive a text message, Facebook message, email, or any other sort of notification. And I'm getting notified that I gotta go, I got things. Oh. I might be able to mow tomorrow. The weather's looking a little nicer. And sometime this week, I need to deal with that mess. Which means I need to fix my whippersnipper so I can deal with that mess. That'd be useful. And that mess. I'm gonna dig out that stump. Frig it. Dad gave me a nice round mouth shovel here. I'm gonna put it to use. <laughs> Junk drawer videos house. Oh, it's Adrian. Hi. Oh, it's Adrian. You got beers. My phone just went off again. Is that what that was? Yeah. I thought it was you. Yeah, yeah, I'm R2D2 in disguise. He's on the cigarette. He's on the cigarette. Ribbit. Cigarette, 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 cigarettes. Holy. Oh my god, he's got Doritos. 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 No. Party man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that seems legit. Oh, I can't. Oh, Rex. It hurts. Rex. Yes. Yeah. You got something growing out of you. It's all mine. Oh. It's, it's real. It's natural. I might want to go see a doctor. Oh, it's not just a green. Oh, wow. Yeah, referral. Thanks, buddy. Huh. Oh. It's nice. That's what she said. Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, party's basically over. Uh, Rex is behind me there. He showed up for a bit. And uh, I'm thinking we're going to head her over to Jules. I just texted her. She's awake. So it's only like 10 or something like that. So we're going to head over there and hang out for a bit and then head her home. So let's pitter patter and have at her and freaking go. And thanks. Yeah. So I'm over at Jules' house. She had the bail. Just go pick up a, a child who's having a sleepover. And the child is sick. Right? Right, puppy? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well. She came back. Who came back? You did, because you ran away on me to go yeah. get your baby. Who's doing better Because your baby's sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. We were watching these videos called How To. <laughs> and they're not How To videos. It always yeah. ends with him smashing an egg on something. <laughs> it's so funny, though. It's freaking hilarious. <laughs> trying to pick up chopsticks. Yeah, trying to pick, pick up an egg, egg with chopsticks. chopsticks. Gets go. mad, smashes the egg into a baby's face. Not a real baby. It was like a doll. But Crazy British Bloke showed me this channel a long time ago, and mm -hmm. it's the guy gets like a million views a video. It's freaking hilarious. Just look up how to basics and you'll find it. I don't think dude needs a shout out. He's got over a million subscribers. I think he's doing pretty good for himself. Yeah, exactly. He's doing pretty good. It's because he yeah. does how to. Oh, he does how to videos, how to like, and it's you do not want to follow his how to's because you'll fail. No. He My kids are not allowed to watch that. Never, because you'll have eggshells everywhere. Oh, God. Had to make a bracelet, they'd slam an egg into it. <laughs> you know, one of those. They would make a mess, and he might have a maid to clean it, but I don't. Yeah, his maid's mom. If they have a maid, mom. Yeah, I'm the mom in this house, yeah. so. Yeah. But I'm going to head her home because my poopy's been at home all this time and he's probably all upset and sad and stuff and he probably already pooped on my bed and things. So I'm going to go home and smash him with an egg. Smash him with an egg and you'll rock the shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> smash him with an egg and throw him in the tub. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm going to go see what he's doing. And I really got to rock a shit. I got like, like, it feels like, like I'm about to give birth and the baby's punching my arsehole. <laughs> True story. You're doing pretty good. I know, I know. Trust me from a girl that's gone through birth four times. But I'm, I'm going to sit on that toilet and it's going to be like, it's going to be just... <laughs> anyway, people, I got to go. She's going to bed. I'm going home. <laughs> okay, bye. Alrighty, people. Well, I'm just leaving Jules' house now, so let's pitter-patter and have at her and head the frig home. Shall we? Yes, we shall.
Oh, freak's sakes. My window was all blotchy, but then I put the heat to it and the blotchy went away. Thought the blotchy was on the inside, ends up it's on the outside, so I don't know what the freak's going on. It is pretty cold out tonight, so you never know. And sometimes, you know, you gotta know, but I don't know, so frig it. So I'm gonna head her home, see what the frig the dog's up to. Hopefully didn't crap all over my house, you know. Today was one of those days when I did a lot of not being at home, being out. And I didn't bring him with me, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a vengeful shit on my, on my carpet. I'll be upset, but I wouldn't be surprised. Also, I found an easier way to get home is not to go straight, which is how I used to do it. The reason being is because it takes forever for this light to change. So, because there is no, no sign here saying no rights on red, what you do is you pull up, pull out a little bit, make sure you got no incoming traffic, and then just goose her down the highway. I'm kind of surprised I didn't see any... Oh, fuck. I thought I had something on my tail there. I'm surprised I'm not seeing any ride programs out tonight, to be honest with you. Normally, uh, on a long weekend like uh, this weekend, the fuzz is out everywhere. They got their little batons out there, and they're friggin' checking for, for liquor drinkers. I don't have an ounce in my blood, so, uh, you know, they're not gonna find shit on me. Just the fact that I really gotta go home and rock a shit. Chances are, after this shit, I'm gonna need a shower. Because I have, I have a feeling that ravioli I ate probably sat on the shelf too long, and, uh, Got a little bit uh, shelf contaminated, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Gonna head her home and uh, friggin' rifle off a squirrely. Holy shit, they got lights to warn you about lights? Do they actually need that? Like, is that how stupid people are now? They have lights to warn you that there's lights. It's like, warning, there's lights up ahead, and like 10 meters. Oh, there's the lights, you can see them. Well then again, I do say that North Bay has some of the dumbest drivers, so maybe that's like a, an assist for the dumb drivers. I, I don't know, I don't know, but uh, frig yeah. So I will scoot her down here. And, oh, the whole reason why I was gonna do a drive home vlog was I was hoping to encounter a ride, because that would've been funny. Totally could've like, son of a bitch them saying, uh, have you had anything to drink tonight, sir? And I'd have been like, yeah, two milk, three sugar, uh, Tim Hortons. They'd be like, no, you mean liquor. And I'd be like, yeah, man, I drank a pint. What's up? And then they'd pull me into the car, and I'd go up there, and you guys could watch me get friggin', friggin' doing the breathalyzer and blowing a double O. And then they'd be like, ah, oh, you have no liquor in your body, you freaking liar. And I'd be like, yeah, buddy, I'm a freaking liar. It's the way she be. It's the way she be when you when you're driving a driving a Trans Am at two o'clock in the morning, and then they'd be like, "Get in the cuffs, you're going into prison." And I'd be like, "Freak six, let me get my camcorder so I can do an inside prison vlog and things." And they'd be like, "You go, bro. You all about that?" And I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore, and I do apologize. But um, yeah, I'm rambling on. I do that. But there's no cops, no caps, no ride checks, no programs. Frig them, you know. Figured I'd take the big highway and stuff, but it is actually quicker for me to go home this way than it is for me to go home the other way. I did it, and by doing this way here, I actually realized that you knock an extra friggin' three minutes off your drive. Actually, not three minutes, more like five minutes off your drive. I go the other way, it's pretty kife, and it's like ends up being like a 15 minute, oh no, 10 minute drive from here to there, and this way here ends up being like a seven minute drive from here to there, so. It's a lot quicker this way here. Now, if only I could figure out a way to get there faster, that'd be awesome. Problem is, there's so many damn street lights, and during the day, they're like not in sync and stuff, so you end up rocking a bunch of reds, and then you're waiting around for hours and things, and, and other things, and stuff, and junk, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, anyway. Oh, it's a pizza sub shop right there. I wonder if they have any pizzas and subs that are yummy. Honestly, I only buy subs from one place. And that's either, well, from two places. The Submarine Place or Mr. Sub. Or, no, Subway, not Mr. Sub. I used to buy from Mr. Sub, but their bread's always stale and it's like biting into a piece of freaking chip rock. Anyway, people, I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down here and we'll talk more when I get home. So until then, 
piece of the frig out. Alrighty guys, I'm home now and I really gotta go for a cack attack. Burb. Oh guys, that was legendary. The smell, not so much. Basically what a cack attack is, is when you really gotta drop a dookie, but uh, you know, you start getting cramps in your stomach because like you really gotta drop a dookie. I really hate cack attacks. Like when the cramps are big enough that they can immobilize you, that's not good. And I've been having those all night, but instead of coming home and dropping a dookie, I went over to Jules' house, hung out there for a couple hours, and then came home, and then dropped a dookie. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of friend I am. Anyway, people, it's friggin' late. I need to edit, upload, and go to bed. Hopefully this time, upload on time, unlike yesterday, for frig sakes. So on that note, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, stove them down below. If I don't respond, it's because I'm enjoying the vacation life. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.